Hello, welcome back to the ministry. I'm continuing where I left off in the last message. This should be maybe like part three of this. Um, but I ran out of space at the time. So, this is another day. And as you can see, I did my hair a little bit different. But, um, picking up where I left off in my note, the Lord gave me psalms and i'm starting on psalms 18 verse 30 and we're going to go down from there he showed me that there's a point yes god is going to fight your battles but i love what Dif what tiffany montgomery always said she said god's gonna fight the battle but you still got to show up for the fight um he trained you and i'm not even gonna say the scripture I'm just going to read it from where I'm reading it from. God's ways are perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. For who is God except Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God's arms me with strengths meaning he arms you with the strength some of us think that god is not going to help us if he sends us into the battle and our arms gotta work no he needs to use your body you still got to move for him meaning he's using your vessel but he's going to do the work through you, okay? He makes you sure-footed where he's sending you as a deer. He enables you to stand on the mountain height. So when you get to the top of the mountain, you can stand there. He trained your hands in the valley and as you were coming up the mountain for those heights. For that battle, he strengthened your arms to draw a bronze bow. He has given you a shield of victory. Your right hand supported and is your help as he made it great. You have made wide paths for your feet. To keep them from slipping. Remember Psalms 91. But you. You. In this scripture he's talking about you. You must chase your enemies. And you will catch them. You did not stop until they were conquered. You will strike them down. Till they will not get up. They fall beneath your feet. You have armed me with the strength in the midst of the battle that you have subdued my enemies under my feet and you place them on shore foot shore okay you place my foot on their necks they are under your feet i have destroyed all who hate me they call for help but no one came to their rescue they even cried to the Lord, but he refused to answer. Jeremiah eleven fourteen talks about they will no longer hear their prayers. I swept them into the gutter like dirt. You gave me victory over my accusers. You appointed me ruler over nations. People I didn't even know serve me. And as soon as they hear of me, they submit. Foreign nations cringe before me and they all lose their courage and come trembling from their strongholds. For Lord, I praise you, you are my rock. And may God's salvation be exalted. He is my God that pays back those who have harmed me and he has subdued nations under me and rescued me from mine enemies and hold me from beyond the reach of my enemies and you saved me from the violent opponents 
What am I saying here? God has you, even though you might be going through something. If I told you the warfare I've been under, but all glory to God, because God's showing his love in the midst of the warfare. But sometimes when we're going through it, we just don't. These bags right here are real. <laughs> okay. I went about two nights without no sleep. It's for real. It's for real. And the pettiness I'm dealing with right now is just petty. It's just petty. <laughs> it's so stupid to make you want to cry. That's how bad it is. <laughs> anyway. But God's in control. Because he's going to take care of all of these issues. I got to understand what I'm fighting it for. He goes before and takes out the opponent. But sometimes you got to go in and do the work. And it becomes easier for you. But he's right behind you. He's covering you. He never leaves you, nor does he forsake you. But you got to walk that out. Sometimes I wonder if these words come for me because <laughs> if you knew what I was dealing with, it's like the day that I desire to do this word is speaking directly to my situation. This is how I know. This is this stuff that I'm speaking is only Holy Spirit led because I couldn't have made this stuff up. And the day that I the day I need it, I'm releasing it to y'all. This is God. It ain't me. I didn't make this stuff up. But anyway, God got to show you how to get out and show others how to get out. This is a process. People that operate in desperate delusion don't know what you've been through and had to sacrifice and give up. Let me explain something to you. I'll probably put this link in the community post. But if you're hearing this video, I'm going to want you to go. And I want you to watch Stephanie P's video. To Stephanie P. Smith's video on Kingdom Marriage Witchcraft. Some of y'all have wondered. Well, when are you going to get it? When are you going to get married? When are you going to? <laughs> I would, if, <laughs> let me just, just have a real moment, which, if I could tell you, I would. If I could, but I can't. Because everything I do is attacked by witchcraft. I can't. Just me doing this ministry, if you knew the stuff I deal with, to the stupidity level, just cause I have this ministry. And I gotta act calm and normal on my everyday basis life. Everyday basis life. Just. <laughs> It's like living in two worlds. If I could, I'm glad I'm I've I've been delivered of the desire to be like that person that just wanted to put everything out on on online. <laughs> this is about all you're gonna get. I'm gonna express what I need to express. No more, no less. <laughs> because if you understood what it is, I mean, truly understood what it was to deal with spiritual warfare. When you see, and I guarantee you at some point that it will visually come out. Who and what I've been fighting against. 
and four, it's going to come out. And it's going to make a whole lot of sense. Because I said it in that article I wrote. It's going to make a whole lot of sense. Why? It had to be that I couldn't tell y'all nothing. And I've never been that person. I just had to be honest. I've never been the person that, that, that wanted to be out here posting selfies on the gram, all that kind of stuff. If I do it, it's because I am doing it on my social media. 95% of my posts are actually ministerial and or encouragement posts. I ain't out here. Just talking to be talking. I don't even go on my social media like that. So why would I be that way with my relationship? If you see an image of me 95% of the time, maybe I made a glyph of something or it's a cover to a live stream video. But I don't put no pictures out of myself like that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have that desire. And now with what I deal with, oh no. <laughs> so when I say they will understand the sacrifices and the things that you've had to give up. Because there are people that sit up there and look at you. There are people that deal with a level of envy. And this is coming from your family. Watch Stephanie P's video. She explains it so eloquently about the type of warfare that you go through when you are standing for kingdom marriage. It's coming from all sides in every damn direction. And yes, I curse. And that's how irritated I am with this warfare. <laughs> that's just how irritated I am. If you hear me, if you ever hear me cuss, that means that the warfare is bad. And I've just started to get that irritated with it. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So I'm going to get back to this. People are okay as long as you're not doing better than them. Let me t tell you something. I've been through levels of warfare where it was like, I'm just trying to go to the hair store and get me some new hair or something. And the warfare against me after I put the hair in my head or what have you was ridiculous. Because I stepped out looking 100% my best. And the level of warfare that came against me, because Stephanie P explains it in her video. That's why I'm saying, oh, watch that. That the type of warfare that comes after these kingdom marriages, that just because you trying to look your best and stand in the fullness of who you are, you will get dumb witchcraft against you. <laughs> because the person that is trying to come against your marriage and or people, these kind, they so pissed off at you because you walking in it and they can't that they will send a text after you. Even if they whiff that you starting to look better than what they thought that you should because they trying to steal what belongs to you. They narcissist. They completely off in their head. And I'm going to even give you this analogy that I've been sitting on in, in my days of reflection. Think of your spouse. Your spouse. For some of you, depending on what echelon of influence he has. To other people, they look at him like a wallet. Okay? But guess what? God said... I'm giving that wallet to you. Okay? He's marked it for you. 
He's going to give it to you. That's going to go to you. Okay? But these counterfeits have seen that wallet. They see that it's got a very beautiful emblem on it. They see the designer ele element of it. They see it. They feel, no, nah, she don't need that, that wallet. I want that wallet. So they done done did all kinds of witchcraft, done did all kinds of foolery to come against the what? Your name engraved on the inside of that wallet. On the inside of the wallet. Well, your name ain't anywhere. Nobody can see it on the outside, so we gonna steal it anyway. Proverbs 6 and 31 says, the enemy got caught stealing, had to pay back sevenfold everything he stole, even from his own house. These women <laughs> would literally look at this person like, you, you didn't do nothing. You did, all you did was pray to the Lord. God send me a God-fearing husband. <laughs> That's all you did. Send me the God-fearing husband of your choice. And God said, okay, I choose him. Then you had the audacity. So, so God, you say you're going to send me a God-fearing husband that, 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 that you're going to send me? Well, what his name is? <laughs> and when you said what his name is, God whispered his name to you. And he was like, yes. <laughs> Well, there was a bunch of monitoring spirits, witches, and all kinds of other stuff. The second that you figured that out, they said, oh, so he marked for her? Let me go steal that wallet. And you sitting there be like, wait, I ain't asked for all this food over wallet. <laughs> I just was happy that the Lord told me that he was giving me something. And then when you started praying for it, enemy got caught stealing. These fools started to do even worse. Stephanie goes all into that. And y'all had in a back and forth. It's a back and forth and a back and forth between you and this individual or individuals that all trying to get at this one because to them, you just stole their bag. That's the way Stephanie put it. She said, you just stole their bag. That's why, I, that's why I used the example of a wallet. But God already engraved your name on the inside of the wallet. If you open the wallet, it's your name on it. They done tried to steal it. <laughs> they done didn't did everything that they could think of to try to steal the wallet. Tried to hold it captive, tried to hide it some daggone where, put it in a safe that they think is done going to keep the wallet away from you. If you watched my review of the movie, <laughs> um, Snow White. Hello. They would try to lock you up and keep you away from as long as you don't go near the thing. It's like. And you sit there like, really? And then they acting like you stole it from them. But she's the one that stole it. But they're the one that stole it. And your name's on the inside of the wallet. And God knows it, you know it. And some of you, your spouse know it too. It's because your spouse is trying to walk. Ooh, if you, there's a project they're working on right now. And if you knew, that's why I believe I've been under this warfare like I've been under it because of that project that I got for y'all. Oh, God. The revelation. And then they're looking at you like you trying to steal their wallet. And your name's on the inside of it. And they will fight you tooth and nail. Not only that, they will, if they could, they try to kill you over it. 
Because that's how envious and you, you, you know that old saying, it looks could kill. If they could look you in your face and that's all it took to kill you, they would do it. Because <laughs> that's how mad they are. And they the one that stole it from you. And you just doing doing your due diligence with God to get it back. <laughs> anyway. Because you know your position. And you have your seat. So they must make everything and everybody make, according to the word, I think I talked about this a little earlier in the previous one, that two things that uh, God hates is deceitful schemes of the enemy. And he hates lies and conflict spread amongst the community 